In Hawaii, 30% of our waste is construction and demolition debris. Fortunately, most of that is actually reusable as it is. Here at Reefs Hawaii, we're setting up a new paradigm, new industry for demolition, and it's called deconstruction. Our whole mission is to turn waste into a community resource. As an island community, we need to do all we can to make sure we don't fill up our landfills unnecessarily. We figure let's just sort of minimize the landfill issues by keeping material out of it. We have lots of homeowners that call us directly if they have a house that they're needing to remove. Instead of choosing demolition, they choose deconstruction. Have us deconstruct it. We'll save up to 80% of the volume of a typical house. And the homeowner gets a tax deduction for the value of all the salvage material which on a whole house can be tens of thousands of dollars. And so uh, we're up here at beautiful Pacific Heights, way up at the top. Gorgeous house. This is really the ideal project for Reuse Hawaii. Really nice redwood built in the 70s. The homeowners will want to want to tear it down to the ground, demolish it, build up a nice two-story place here. So instead of just destroying it all, we come in, take it apart, reuse it a little bit, give back to the, to the community any way we can. We probably get somewhere between 1,200 and 2,000 tons a day. Reuse is a real important part. They recycle the kind of things that shouldn't be coming to us. And they're actually recovering some of the history, some of the best parts of what has been used in Hawaii before. My name is Harrison Flores. I am the logistics coordinator for Reuse Hawaii. I just did a pickup today brand new unpainted cedar lumber. It was like one by four, one by six, and if we didn't go pick it up, it would have been tossed right into the landfill, brand new lumber. You see it, it's like all redwood, old growth wallboards, and they just want to smash it down. It kind of breaks your heart. <laughs> and then that's what we try and fight for, is just to get that back in here. It's a big warehouse. I think we're around almost 40,000 square feet, something like that. We take in all types of materials. Everything you've seen here is all from the houses and, and materials that we've taken from the house. Anything that we can see as reusable, we try to really keep it out of the landfill. It's actually really rewarding to see all this stuff go back out into the community. See what people do with it. That's one of the things I get out of here. Let's take a walk inside, start from the back. This is our door section. Interior doors, exterior doors, maybe just frames. We get brand new doors, as you can see, never even used. Solid core, whoo, it's heavy. Some things we get are just kind of amazing. Take a look at this one, beautiful. Mahogany, in the jam, ready to go. For the price, half guaranteed. Here's our flooring. We got some examples of what you could do with the flooring. Exotic hardwood flooring. Really rare is this Koa flooring. Microwaves, ovens, double stacked ovens. Anything you can find in the kitchen we've gotten. Heading through to our cabinet section. This is a whole set right here, drawers galore. People use these for planter boxes. Great price, jacuzzis, bathtubs. You know, all you gotta do is come here with your measurements, measure it out. I mean, we're interested in the, the community as a whole, sort of realizing what they can do as individuals to, to, to make a difference, whether it's using salvage material or choosing to deconstruct their house or spreading the word about Reese Hawaii so that we can move forward as a community, understanding our responsibilities about resources, waste, how we can be more sustainable together.